Hi guys! My name is Rhonda. I'm a certified aromatherapist. I'm just jumping on here because I'm going to do a little recipe for you for an owie spray. Uh, an owie spray is good for all of your like skin reactions. Um, if you end up with a minor um, cut or inflammation, this would be the perfect spray for that. So I'm going to go through how to make it. I'm going to show you how to make it and then I'll tell you why it works so well. Okay? So, um, what we need first is our frankincense. We need some lavender and we need some maluca. If you're in Canada, this is called tea tree oil. That's the English name. Maluca is the Latin name of the plant. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a 60 milliliter or 2 ounce spray bottle and you're going to add in. 15 drops of the Maluca. Okay, and then we're going to add in 15 drops of the lavender. And finally, we're going to add in 15 drops of the frankincense. Beautiful. Okay, so that gives us, and then we're going to top that up with our fractionated coconut oil. Okay. And that gives us about a two and a half percent dilution if you want to know exactly what the dilution ratio works out to be. Okay, so we're just going to top that up. And once that's topped up, then we just add our little spray topper and then we're good to go. So to give you a little bit of details about um, why this would be a great spray for basically your whole family, is um, lavender is a really great oil because it prevents bacteria and fungal growth. Um, it also reduces swelling and inflammation and it's calming and healing and it's kind of balancing oil so it's really good. Um, it will calm not only the wound itself but it will calm the person as well. Um, frankincense is our wound healing oil so that one is really great for wound healing, for um, using for bacteria risks, and for pain relief. Now tea tree or melaleuca, depending on where you are, um, is a strong bacteria killer. So that's excellent for most skin uses. It is anti-inflammatory, antifungal, and it's good for pain relief. Now um, as an added bonus, I'll explain to you why fractionated coconut oil is actually a really great carrier for this recipe. Um, fractionated coconut oil is not actually a complete oil, so it's actually, um, it's actually made up of really specific fatty acids found in the coconut plant. It is tasteless and odorless. It is a non-staining oil. It will maintain its liquid um, nature, so it doesn't go hard like the solid stuff that you buy in the stores. And it also provides an indefinite shelf life. So. What that means is that your mixture won't go rancid at any point, so it should last quite some time. So um, that would be an aromatherapist approved um, owie spray. And as a little upcycle tip, this recipe is enough that if you wanted to use your two ounce or 60 ml bottle, great. But if you have lots of these empty bottles kicking around like I do, there's enough in that recipe to fill four of your very own little 15 ml bottles and you can top it up with these little spray toppers that you can get at My Essential Business. So it's up to you if you want a bigger bottle or if you want to get creative and split that up over four bottles. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions or comments, just comment below and let me know. All right, take care guys. Bye.